Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my thought, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. Not wasting my time, not wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for. 44 points, man. Luka Doncic gotta be from a different planet, bruh. The man don't even look like he take NBA players serious, bro. Huh? He look like he play basketball as a part-time activity, bruh. Look at this. Play stupid NBA streets. I'm gonna go lay it up calmly. He can't be European. I'm telling you, man, his grandma was black. His grandma is from the trenches of Africa. Huh? Has to be, boy. He got an uncle named Ankuku. It has to be. It just has to be. There's no way he's just straight out of Europe, man. It can't be. And Clippers, y'all season is done, boy. Y'all season is clipped. Y'all doodle booty butt cheeks left and right cheeks. Look at this play. Pull up on you, not down. Who is this man, Luka Doncic, bro? Why does he ball on people like this? This man gonna have the Caucasian community walking around with chest high, huh? This must be how people back in the 80s and 90s saw Larry Bird. This has to be, boy. Huh? He is the new age Larry. There's just nobody can stop him. He just do whatever he want on the basketball court, bro. And Clippers, clearly he got beef with y'all, boy. He y'all 50 cent. He stayed doing y'all dirty, bro. Huh? Y'all done put about 15 different defenders on him the whole night, and he's still doing what he want out there. He's still T.I.ing. That boy do whatever he like. Yeah. I don't know how a man moves slower than Gary off of SpongeBob, and some way, somehow, he can get to whatever spot he want. Lucas sprinting speed is me walking to the mailbox to get my mail that's how fast he can run the man barely looked like he could move and for some strange reason no one can stay in front of him look at this pull up knockdown luca move on the basketball court like he always sore and nobody seems to can stop this guy i don't i don't understand how it's possible bro how is he doing this by the end of luca career he gonna have the nba scoring record man it's, it's just too easy for this guy coming to this season we, we know the Denver Knuckles were going to be the team to be in the West. There were also speculations that the Phoenix Suns would be also a team to be in the West. And the LA Lakers, maybe Memphis Grizzlies without Jaw, and other teams out there. Nobody thought the Dallas Mavericks were going to be the number one team in the West starting this year, the first 10 and 11 games in the season. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about I was wrong about the Dallas Mavericks. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will. We're back again with another video. It's early in the season, right? But so far, I I'm going to explain why I was wrong about the Dallas Mavericks. And um, a couple reasons. One, you cannot doubt Luka. Luka is playing like an MVP. Luka's averaging about 33 points per game. By around eight or six, by like seven, re this man is just unstoppable, unguardable. With Kyrie taking a step back, and this this is what I'm gonna say, Kyrie, I I'm sorry, you obviously you're doing your thing, but for your for you to take a step back and realize this is Lucas' team, this is why y'all are eight and two right now. This is why y'all are number one in the West. Because you are taking that role of doing, playing your game, right? But taking a lesser role. Nobody's been talking about you. Nobody's really been paying attention to you because you have Luka Doncic on your team. On Luka's team. It's not your team, Kyrie, but it's Luka's team. And you accept the, accept the reality. You just want to win. Love it. Love it. And this kid, Daryl Lively Jr., is going to be a stud. In the league. This new center they have, he's a stud. Everybody talking about Chet, Victor Wemby, Yamba, you know, everybody talking about those guys. But this dude, Daryl Lively, he's up, he's he's not on their level, but he's he's under the radar rookie that y'all need to look out for. This is what I'm gonna say. And I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna put it straight like this. I want y'all to really hear me when I say this. Luka Doncic is what everybody wanted James Harden to be. And James Harden is what we thought Kyrie Irving was. Let me repeat that one more time. Luka Doncic is what everybody wanted James Harden to be. 
James Harden is what we thought Kyrie Irving was. And so this is why I'm explaining that in a couple ways. A couple ways. Luka Doncic is playing like an MVP candidate, but he's also playing like he's really that dude that can take this team to at least to the Western Conference Finals. James Harden has only done that once, right? When he had CP3 and a lot of shooters on his team. We know what James Harden's game is like. He loves to do his step back. He loves to control the pace. Luka Doncic plays just like James Harden. But itself, he plays a little slower, slows the game down even more, controls the tempo, and has shooters around him wide open every time because they're afraid what Luka's about to do with the ball. Controls the pace. There's nobody that can stop Luka. And the, the fact that y'all y'all actually have a, another valuable score that himself can put up 40 a night if you want to in Kyrie Irving, who's taking a lesser role. Because last year, it looked like Kyrie, Kyrie and Luka couldn't, couldn't cohese with each other because they was both dominant scores. But now Kyrie Irving realized, like, listen, Luka, bro, you, you're the superstar. I'm a superstar myself, but this is your team. Take us to the promised land. I'm taking a step back. I will play my game. You play yours. You are that dude. And that's what Kyrie is doing for Luka. This is why they're 8-2. and two. Now, defensive-wise, they still, they, they're one of the worst defenses in the league. They, they don't play no defense. But they scoring like this. Can they really play? Does defense really matter for this team? Because, yes, that they between Luka and Kyrie, they literally, they don't play defense. Especially Luka. But this new Derek Lively rookie they have in the center oh yeah he's he's gonna be he's gonna be the deal he plays defense right and you still got t tim hardaway you still got other types of shooters on your team now you did lose Dorian finney smith right i think that was kind of a key loss but y'all added grant williams who at first i didn't think that was and really didn't want to matter what kind of pickup that would be but that actually adds a little shooting a little three and d to this team so, Dallas, if y'all continue to play like this, I don't know if y'all will be top. Definitely, not, I don't think y'all gonna be number one seed, but y'all can be top three. Y'all can be top three because the West is wide open. Phoenix is not off to a great start. Lakers are they don't know what they want to do with LeBron because they playing LeBron with forty minutes a game. And he's he he's thirty nine. AD is un just unpredictable. AD doesn't know if you want to play tonight or the next night. And then you got Memphis, who looks horrible. The Clippers are just like, like my last video. They rock bomb. They terrible with James Harden. And Denver, they don't have Jamal Murray for like a month. Now, the Warriors are playing well. They look like what the CP3 thing is actually working out. Minnesota, I will take about I will talk about Minnesota and OKC and Houston a couple more in the next couple of videos. Those three teams are, are teams to look out for too. The West is wide open, y'all. Dallas continues like to play like this. They can be like the Dallas team that knocked off the number one Phoenix Suns when Luka just damn near dropped 40 and beat them by 40 in a game seven. Sky's limit for Dallas, man. Y'all continue to play like this, y'all are going to be tough to beat. And Luka will, meet, will probably be MVP. And salute to Kyrie for doing for playing his role. It looks like on his team. That's all I have to say for this video. If y'all like the video, give me a like. Subscribe to your channel if you're new. I'm dropping every week. I appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. It's being bold, Will, and I'm out.